Bonjour guys, how's it going? It's your boy English Twist, I take a sis. Thanks for joining me today and for showing me your support. Today I've got a nice little tutorial video for you. As you can see I'm actually recording my desktop. Like my lovely little background here, yep. I'll show you a nice little website where you can get these cool desktops from if you want to, but that's not going to be in this video. Today's video is going to be all about, if you haven't guessed it already, how to SSH into your iPhone without the use of Wi-Fi. And personally, I do enjoy, or I do prefer using um, USB as opposed to uh, Wi-Fi because I find that it's quicker and there's less chances of it disconnecting. Say for example, like if you use uh, PDA net to tether, some people tether over Wi-Fi, whereas I prefer to tether over USB. Alright, so that's what I'm going to do. This video isn't actually my own findings. Well, to a certain extent it is, but I don't want to take the credit for it. I actually found this from an, an excellent YouTuber called Will DTA. Go and check out his channel. I may have it on my home screen actually, a link straight to his channel. I put a lot of my favorite uh, YouTubers on my YouTube home screen, so you know if you do want to check out some other ones, go ahead and click that. Uh, sorry, click to my home screen and take a look at those uh, guys that I like to watch. Well, this one is courtesy of Will DTA. I saw it on his channel. I thought, you know, this is such a great little tool, so I wouldn't want to just pass it up without uh, letting you all know um, of this great little technique. Uh, whether it's new or not, that's irrelevant. It's it's good nevertheless. All right. And what it's actually going to be utilizing is this application or. Uh, piece of software called iFunbox and you can download this I'll have a link in the description you can download this uh, from this site iFunbox.com alright so just find your way to that website if you're doing it along with me go ahead it'll give you a quick little breakdown this is such a, a user friendly uh, piece of software it's so easy to use it's very effective and it, and it I actually prefer it to the WinSCP any time, any time of the day. All right, so you're going to come to this website, i-funbox.com, click download. You, it comes in a WinRAR a zip file. Just open that. I mean, I can open it. I've already got it, as you saw on my desktop. But just to show you that it's not viruses or anything like that, you will see my antivirus probably pop up in a second. Oh, hang on. Stand by. There we go. This is what you'll get iFunbox.com. You can extract that to your desktop. I already have it, so I'm going to close that little puppy out. And this is what it will look like, all right? And you just come in to open up the iPhone box, and as long as your phone's plugged in, wow! Look at that, straight up. There it is. No arson about with IPAs and VNC servers. Forget all that rubbish. This is why I like using USB. And you're probably wondering why I've got this over here. This is actually to show you that I am actually uh, using my phone. It's plugged in via USB-C up there. It's plugged in. This is not, a, you know, this is not a play on on visual effects. You know, I'm not that technical minded. All right, here we go. So you just double click the app, the item that you want to SSH into. Data transfer engine over here. As you can see, it says one device selected. If it's not selected, and let's just unplug this little puppy. There we go. Notice how it says English Twist. iPhone 3.0 was removed safely. Okay, whatever. Let's plug it back in. There it is. Whoop! Did that deafen you? And there it is. Check it out. See? There it is right there. So you open that up. And here we have the ability to check our iPod, our general storage, our camera. This, everybody, is a really cool thing. You can actually pull your videos and pictures straight off of your phone how cool is that you know what I mean I'm, I mean, it might not be cool to you all because you think well I can just upload it to YouTube or I could just email it to myself well here we go you haven't got to ask about with any emailing or anything like that we can just pull them straight off of our phone so for me that's fabulous and we can also load videos straight on in this fashion you know it's all the basic SSH uh, abilities you know and, and just look how simplistic this looks we don't have all the other files to ask about with it's just straight and to the point that's how I like it is your applications lovely jubbly ringtones add a ringtone open it up you know it opens it in iTunes 
just to show you real time I'll open up iTunes real quick there it is you all know that alarm tone in the mornings if you use it and your wallpapers look at this you know it what more can I say guys it's a quick easy and effective way to SSH without using Wi-Fi for those of you that have connected internet this is your answer all right absolutely brilliant it has my seal of approval I don't want to go uh, rambling on in this video as you can see I'm utilizing the uh, BSR application sitting at five minutes I think that's good enough right guys so let's go ahead it's English twist you know what time it is it's time to rock out why Wi-Fi SSH when you can utilize your USB oh and by the way please click on an ad or subscribe to my channel and comment and rate this video thanks very much everybody lovely jubbly Yay. did I do my nails today oh well better go click them <laughs> alright take it easy guys bye oh man it didn't stop bloody hell